Today, let's talk all about the best way to transcribe audio into text and why it's important for podcasters and bloggers as well. So we're trying to save bloggers some time and sitting in front of that computer and having to type things away. Don't you want to save time? I know you do. Stick around. I'll let you know how. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Shanna Hernandez, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today, let's talk about the best transcription services that you can use to turn your audio into text and put it on your blog. Now, this is going to serve as a two-for video for the podcasters and, of course, for bloggers. It's going to serve as a video for podcasters who have heard that they need to transcribe their podcasts into text. And for the bloggers who are trying to save time in terms of writing out their blog if they're stuck in front of a keyboard. Now, this is really going to be all about your philosophy and how you want to uh, execute transcribing your audio. But for the podcasters, this might be a little bit easier for them. So let's start with them first. I had a discussion last week at the GoDaddy offices in Scottsdale, Arizona with an individual who's really big into SEO, search engine optimization. And when it comes down to your blog, that's where you're pretty much housing everything, all your podcast episodes, all of your blogs, everything that is completely possible that you can think of for you and your brand, right? And his question to me was, why don't podcasters have their podcast transcribed and put on their website? And I know what you're thinking. My podcast may be 30 minutes, it might be an hour, and there's no way I'm going to transcribe and sit there and type out all the words that I said and all the words that my guests said. It just seems impossible, right? But there are services that are out there that are available for you. Same goes for bloggers. When it comes down to bloggers, um, and this is really kind of up to the philosophy like I mentioned, save yourself the time of having to think out what you want to say and having to type it out on the keyboard and just dictate it. That's a good way to get content churning through your website. And the way that I do this is I use a service called Rev.com. And it's a transcription service where you can dictate something into your phone or you can grab pieces of your audio from your podcast, send it off to the service, and then the service will transcribe it for you. Now, let's say you are a podcaster and you had a guest on your podcast and uh, they were talking about a particular topic, but you were talking about something else. Now, the, the transcriber needs to know and differentiate who is speaking. And so that's what they do. They are able to differentiate the different speakers. And you will be able to see that whenever you go in and use their service. Now, their service, again, it is a service. It's going to cost money. But if you're just getting transcriptions so that you can get the text to put onto your website, your transcriptions will cost a dollar a minute. So if you have a 30 minute podcast, it's going to cost you $30, okay? But for bloggers, you can definitely talk about a topic within five minutes. I'm sure you can agree with that. And the way that you do that is that you would basically find your own system of how you're going to talk about that topic. Typically what I like to do is I like to bullet point out the main topic areas that I wanna talk about and underneath each one of those bullet points, I elaborate a little more. Once you finish dictating into your phone, all you need to do is you need to take that audio file and you need to send it off to Rev.com. Now, there's another way that you can do this. Rev has their own application where uh, for iPhone and for uh, Android, and you can record or dictate directly into their application and send your piece of audio off to them, and they will start working on it right away. Now, I've sent 15-minute pieces of audio for videos for my YouTube channel, and I've gotten them back within an hour. Um, and you know it was 15 bucks and it was well worth it to me so I didn't have to sit there and type anything out. So it's going to be completely up to you on whether or not you wanna use a transcription service. But I will tell you this, if you're doing a weekly blog and you have a little bit of extra money where it's going to save you the time, use Rev, it's going to help you out completely. Now, if you're someone who's completely a do-it-yourselfer, DIYer, and you're like, mm, you know what, no, I don't wanna use any type of service like that, uh, there is another alternative, and it's Google Docs. And I don't know, I don't know if you knew this, but Google Docs has a function inside of it called voice typing. It's basically like dictation, but Google will just write it out inside the doc for you. And all you need to do is you need to go in and just basically massage it after you've voice typed. So let's jump on over to my computer right now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. We got to go to that actual screen, and here we have a Google Doc that is open. And what you wanna do is you wanna go over to tools and you wanna jump on over to voice typing. And you're going to come up with this 
microphone that is there. You might have to enable a couple things upon the first use, but should be enabled already if you've already got a microphone connected to your computer or you're using it through your webcam. And all you'll need to do is you want to tap that microphone and it's going to instantly start uh, recording. So let's go ahead and hit the record button and I'm going to, let's just say I'm going to read a piece of like my notes right here and you'll see what I'm talking about. You will want to write main bullet points for your topics, period. Dictate into your phone about each topic. This helps you practice with public speaking. This teaches you how to breathe and pace yourself. As you can see right there, um, it doesn't get all the words completely right, so it's best if you're pretty close to your microphone. So I would recommend using something like a Blue Yeti mic or just getting really close to your um, to your computer. But you can do the same thing on your phone. Your phone should have that ability to uh, use the microphone and dictate into Google Docs directly, and it will dictate everything out there for you. So uh, this is just one way that you can utilize this. I would use the steps that I talked about in the beginning of this video and put them into um, Google Docs, it's gonna make things a lot easier for you. Now, does this work for podcasters? It can work for podcasters, but it will get a little bit laborious um, having to hold whatever audio piece that's up to your microphone, and it's gonna get a little bit harder for you to do that. But I, So I would recommend using Rev for that. But these are just options. I'm just trying to provide options for you so that you can utilize the best tools that are out there and that are free or at low cost. So if this video has helped you out, let me know. Go ahead and leave a comment down below in the sections below. And uh, I'm more than happy to comment back. And let me know if you're using something else. What's the best way that you utilize uh, transcriptions? Or are you even transcribing your podcast for show notes? That's something that I would love to do. Or if you're a blogger, are you using some type of dictation? I'd be interested to know. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's right there down on the button. If you, as you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to go ahead and say subscribe. Or there's going to be a button at the very end of this video and you can subscri subscribe there. If you're looking to get into podcasting and you want to start out and figure out what you need to do, I have a quick start guide that you can go ahead and download. That is going to be up here. And of course, it's at the very end of the video. And it's a completely free guide that will get you started within about 15 minutes. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.